The road is not for the weary. It is for the unrelenting. Bosh tipped it in! Chris Bosh puts Miami up by two! It is for the relentless. Five on the shot clock. LeBron for three. Double! LeBron for three. Yes! LeBron James, you are amazing! <laughs> but no matter the mindset, the road will take its toll. Sometimes the price is too high for the journey and the adversity that is experienced can only serve as a lesson for the future. With three straight losses, the Miami Heat have a new task at hand. Following rest and repair, hit the hardwood with the same determination, grit, and defensive disposition that delivered 30 wins just before the halfway mark of this season. The Heat hope to take that next step to the next level tonight. Oh, it's so good to be back in South Florida. There's the Heat's house. I love that place. The Hawks are in town. They played yesterday. The Heat are here. They practiced yesterday. They practiced today. Some guys didn't go today. We'll start with why we're in this point of injury with LeBron. I got right there in L.A. rolling the ankle both ways. Bosh and Wade as well. But the thing about this, and I can't see this enough, and I know it hurts LeBron, but the man hops in the stands, comes back out, and makes the jumper for three. But the injuries just kept on coming. On Saturday, LeBron tried to get things going. You see the grimace on the face. The left ankle couldn't take it. He went out there two hours before the game, did everything, including throwing it down, and just couldn't get it to go. It was a game time decision. That decision was, let's wait and see, even though he was working and working hard. The injuries kept rolling along, as I mentioned, right on Saturday night. Dwayne Wade, first, knee to knee. Oh, Kurt, come on, be an alumnus. Another look right there. Oh, that always hurts. Plus, Dwayne has had issues with that uh, knee before, and so he finished the game, but he did not practice yesterday and did not shoot around this morning. After Chris Bosh, more left ankle issues. See, this is terrible right there. That's like an offensive lineman getting rolled up on right there. That's not good when you're not wearing pads and, and a big old knee pad and whatnot. Chris Bosh actually stayed in that game, showed some toughness, played, but then did not play the final quarter, uh, did not practice yesterday, did not shoot around today. And let's get to what the people want to know. And here's what's coming up for the Miami Heat. You got Bosh who was out. You got Dwayne who's going to play. You got LeBron who's going to play. So the All-Stars, two of them will shine, but Bosh is going to have to have another night out. And word I'm receiving immediately from the AJ Speaks News Service is that uh, you'll have Joel Anthony. That'll be starting at four. Oh, there's an All-Star. There's a guy that can do some things. That's Joe Johnson. He's healthy. Coach Bolster said this morning he's playing some of the best basketball, some of the most effective and efficient basketball. Tonight, the Miami Heat return home to a place of comfort and success. If not for coming up three points short of victory against Dallas before Christmas, the Heat would not have known defeat in this place since before Thanksgiving. Coach Bolster speaks of the Heat identity, and while that automatically brings defense to mind, he is also referring to a dominant presence and result at home. His players are fixated on that message and delivered on the expectation the last time the Atlanta Hawks flew into American Airlines Arena. Wade with a steal, gets it back for LeBron. And puts it in. Oh, brother, LeBron with gusto. Tonight, the Southeast Division foes tangle once again, and the Heat hope a little rest and much-needed healing will lead to the same victorious result. It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports in heavenly high definition, all presented to you by AT&T Uverse. The Miami Heat's road run is over, and while they return home with key entry, their energy and focus is in the right place. Get back on the winning track against the visiting Atlanta Hawks who return to American Airlines Arena at full strength with a healthy and highly effective Joe Johnson in place. Hawks and the Heat coming up next live. Just two games in the NBA on this Tuesday night. One of them in South Florida for the first time in 14 nights. The Heat are back home and will take on division rival Atlanta in the second of four games between these two clubs. This should be a very good one. We welcome you inside the American Airlines Arena here on Sun Sports, hoping you enjoy every bounce and basket of Miami Heat, Atlanta Hawks basketball. The Heat at 30 and 12, the Hawks at 27 and 15. But you don't want to rely on that. And you can see as the quarter started, as the overtime started, 
You got Evans in the corner, and then Evans again. He scores five points. LeBron hits a three. Answers that other three. Crawford gets in the lane, banks one off the board, a good runner. Now here's the play where the Heat were confused. You just talked about it. While they're talking to the bench, D. Wade and Eddie House weren't ready, and that resulted in a Crawford J in the corner. LeBron goes to the basket. He answers with a two. Then Joe Johnson gets to the basket off the board. Josh Smith scores when Wade goes for the steal. And then a possession here where LeBron attempts a three with the Heat, I believe, down two. Did not work, and that was it. And then that led to two more free throws by Joe Johnson. Start of the second half at center. Coach Joel played 43 minutes tonight. Got to be some sort of a record. 43 minutes, did not take a single shot, but he had a career-high 16 rebounds and a career-high eight offensive rebounds and also three block shots. He had one sequence where he got three offensive rebounds in a row. This allowed Coach Spolster to go small with Chalmers and Eddie House in the game along with LeBron and D. Wade because Mar uh, uh, Joel Anthony was the guy getting the rebounds he was the only guy with any kind of size, you know, using playing his normal position. And uh, that was part of the sequence right there where he got three offensive rebounds. It's a shame to waste such a great game by him. Heat fall. If you want to watch tonight's game all over again, it will air tonight at midnight and tomorrow at noon right here on Sun Sports. Our next telecast comes your way on Saturday night when the Heat take on the Raptors at 7.30 in delicious high definition. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed and the coach Tony Fiorentino, along with Kristen Hewitt, I am Jason Jackson saying thank you so much for watching. Inside the Heat, LeBron James coming up after the final take. Turn to something different only yesterday.